I left Albuquerque this morning. I'm in Oklahoma City. So here's my approach. Like I want to go into a city and I want to busk, which is to street perform and see how the people like me by whether they engage with me, if they like my music. And I'm curious how much money I can make and how many download free download cards I can give away. It gives me a context or a goal, which helps me um, just do things. And it's an interesting thing to think about where the GPS takes you when you simply enter Oklahoma City. You know, like does it take you to the city government? Does it take you to the plaza? You know, does it take you to where people congregate? I think that's a really telling aspect of the city in general. And the fact that we consider, I think a lot of times we consider the center of the city to be the place where people are social. So when I got to the center of the city by following the GPS on my phone here in Oklahoma City, I got to kind of a plaza, but it wasn't really a place where people congregate. At one time, you know, historically, it could have been more like that. So then I just drove around and kind of got lost a little bit. Till I saw some food trucks lining up at the Botanical Gardens. They've got a movie at 9 o'clock. First thing I do when I get to bed I check my stocks and I set my clock I fold my clothes, I pick out a tie Cause I'm a managing money-making American made nine bucks and uh, gave away some download cards. It was pretty fun. This morning I, when I woke up in Oklahoma City, I went out to uh, check out the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. I wanted to check out um, Bricktown. Bricktown is an area that's supposed to be good for busking. So I came up to Tulsa. I got some coffee over at the Arts District and I went and checked out the Woody Guthrie Museum. He was a very prol prolific songwriter. I remember that about him. He had like 3,000 songs. He had like 10,000 pages of writing. So I got some pizza. The guy was really nice. He gave me a free beer because I was traveling through and new to town. And people love that story. I went to this brewery called Renaissance Brewery and they had an open mic going on there. Gonna get new pants. Gonna learn how to dance. Gonna get new pants. But I had to run out of there quick because I wanted to go check out Blue Dome area. So I just took my guitar out of its case, walked down, threw my hat down, put some cash in my hat, put the laminate down, put some free download cards down. I played three songs. I looked at people. Um, I didn't get any tips or didn't give away any download cards. What happens is, you know, this is Blue Dome on a Thursday night in June in uh, Oklahoma, uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma and you're giving them an experience right that's what you're doing because for me it's not just about getting money i like interacting with people first and foremost because i think that i just find that psychologically interesting you put yourself in a position where, where people can potentially um, talk to you and smile at you like you don't get when you're just walking the streets randomly so the people who are driving by in their cars the people who are walking by without saying anything they still get the sense that this is the place to be. They, they think this is a cool area of town because some guy decided to play music here. And you're creating a, an experience. You're sort of creating a story for this is what Blue Dome looks like at nine. And um, I think that's interesting and I like that. So I had a good time. Uh, this is my uh, Oklahoma experience. Uh, I'm gonna hit the road now. Just bought an 86 cent cup of coffee in some random town in Oklahoma on my way to Kansas. And I'm getting uh, Deep, deep, deep into Bob Dylan's deep cuts. I got a bunch of Bob Dylan bootlegs here that I was given to me before I left. I actually have 20 of them. So thanks for checking out this video. I learned, while I was here, I learned that Woody Guthrie was from Oklahoma, or he was heavily influenced by Oklahoma. Actually, he heavily traveled. Um, but I guess he was born here, or he grew up here. I learned that Garth Brooks is from Oklahoma. I didn't actually know that. Thanks for uh, thanks for checking it out. If you like it, please like and hit the share button. Hit that bell button and subscribe if you want to get notified about new videos that I come out with. I come out with one new video every uh, every week, every Sunday. I'm gonna keep testing my thesis that music brings people together, and also that. Great music comes from places where there's a little bit of conflict. You got Woody Guthrie coming from here where he grew up in the Dust Bowl and the Depression and there was a lot of difficult times.